it's come over me. Lord. Good morning, good afternoon, y'all. Good evening. Whatever side of the diaspora that you may be on, welcome, welcome, welcome to the mental house with me, your host, Khadija. This came from the Mental House Sports Edition. And I'd like to just share it. Um, And this is, if we had a trophy or an award, we would love to give it to the Sports Scumbag of the Year, which would have to be none other than... I used I used to love to say this name because at one time I was I was really a fan. I ain't gonna lie. I I wish I could lie about it. I used to be if if it was one sports hero that I had in Green Bay besides Reggie White. Y'all already know. The initials is BF. The welfare queen. Is who he is today. So this former NFL player is embroiled in what was Mississippi's biggest corruption scandal ever. Ever. He's a welfare queen. And guess what? You know, mainstream media does not want to talk about taking him out to Hall of Fame. They don't want to talk. Matter of fact, this story is not very popular, especially with conservatives. Here we have a person that made over $140 million just in his playing career, I believe. And endorsements and but he saw fit to steal from the state's poorest people. He's a welfare queen. Dance with me. Don't you see? I'm the welfare queen. That's who the hell he was. This article, and I loved it, and I, it was, it's just serious. He's known for one of the finest NFL quarterbacks ever. In a career spanning nearly two decades, most of it with the Green Bay Packers, he won a Super Bowl and three MVP trophies, earned 11 Pro Bowl nods, and set the all-time record for most consecutive starts in in 2016, he was elected to the Pro Football Hall of Fame. His ass needs, his earths need to be out of there. But the latest chapter ought to soil his entire legacy. Legacy, I'm sorry. His alleged role in the widespread plot to siphon millions of dollars in public money meant to help the poorest people in his state. And a lot of y'all don't care because you think most people uh, that are poor in the state are black. But I keep trying to educate you to the fact that there are more Caucasian people that are on welfare. Because you're more of the population. So, more people that are white are on uh, welfare than us. We only 13% of the population. So, either way, you, any way you slice that. Okay. Nonprofit Newsroom Mississippi Today has spent months uncovering that those revelations in that scandal. The work, their work was very accurate. It detailed how Favre, who had made around $140 million in his career, 
allegedly collaborated with state officials to funnel $8 million from a Mississippi welfare fund to build a volleyball court at the college his daughter would attend and fund research at two pharmaceutical companies that he was interest, invested in. Okay? He wanted the money to fund these pharmaceutical companies that he was invested in. Now, since those revel these revelations have come to light, Favre has shirked responsibility for his role in, in what, in my opinion, is the deepest public case of public corruption his home state has ever seen. And y'all should just keep it real. He's a, don't you see, he's the welfare queen. <laughs> Not so fast on the welfare queen. Not so fast. Y'all know they had to try to figure out a way to put a monkey wrench in this case. Right? So the dust hasn't that hasn't even cleared from the election that they had in Mississippi where the attorney general was changed. Okay? And y'all remember Brett Favre sued Shannon Sharp and then he sued that other guy, I can't think of his name. The one that comes on um, the sports news. But he withdrew that suit. Okay? Um, they threw the Shannon Sharp case out. And then he was suing one more person who was Shadrach White. Now, Shadrach is the auditor of the state of Mississippi. Okay, so when this new attorney general came in and they found out that Shad wrote a book and in this book he talks about, you know, some of the right-wing uh, culprits that allowed this to happen. So she sent out a notice of intent to withdraw his suit because Brett Favre sued him too. So it says, Dear Auditor White, consistent with the discretion afforded to her by Mississippi Code in a 7-543, the Attorney General previously under uh, undertook you to represent you in the above reference civil action in which you are sued for your personal capacity for defamation rising out of the statements made in the scope of your official duties as state auditor. In the course of the Attorney General's representation of you in these matters, it has come to light that you are in the process of publishing a book authored by you entitled Mississippi Swindle, Brett Favre and the Welfare Scandal That Shocked America. As you know, Mr. Favre's attorney are aware of the forthcoming publication of his book and have already injected it as an issue in Mr. Favre's defamation suit against you. As we have previously advised, because of the book's publication falls outside of your scope of official duties as state auditor, our office is precluded from representing you in a connection with matters arising out of the book's um, out of um, the books 
who am I? Anyway, late Friday, Attorney General Lynn Fitch office put out a statement indicating that she was withdrawing her office's defense of state auditor and Shad White in, in two defamation suits filed against White. So now he doesn't have the resources because she's going to pull him. The first lawsuit brought on by University of Mississippi, James Thomas, uh, was related to statements White made about the scholar strike. But the next one, of course, was the biggest. And as a young auditor, he uncovered um, this welfare fraud allegedly by Brett, Brett Favre and his cronies for this money to build the volleyball uh, apparatus. So the thing about it is now that the resources are going to be pulled away from White, where is this case going to go with Brett Favre? Where is it going to go? Are they going to end up dropping it? Um, because I don't see how he's going to be able to defend himself. He don't have enough resources against all of them. The people uh, from uh, Brett Favre's camp that has the right wing person. Help him pull strings for him. So this is a mess, and I was so looking forward to him being prosecuted. So we gonna have to wait and see what happens. We just gonna have to wait and see. In the meantime, if you like what you hear, please subscribe, share my channel. I'm going to see you in the next one. Bye-bye.